TIFU by getting addicted to nasal spray. This will probably be the most boring TIFU you'll ever read. So I have been having a lot of problems with allergies and congestion because of a dogwood tree in my backyard. I just moved here this year and I didn't think it would affect me that much. I woke up one morning about a week ago and I absolutely could not breathe through my nose. It got to the point where I had cracks on my lips because I was mouth breathing both while I was asleep and awake. Now mind you, I'm 39 weeks pregnant and I can't take most congestion medication. But I can use nasal spray. So I went to my local Dollar General and bought just a generic nasal decongestant. Phenylephrine hydrochloride 1. The instructions said to spray 1-3 puffs in each nostril no less than every 4 hours. What IDIDNT read was to not use it more than 3 days. Or the congestion will just get worse. It's been 9 days and I am heavily reliant on this stupid nasal spray and I have no idea what to do. If I don't use it. I absolutely cannot breathe out of my nose whatsoever and I am worried I'm going to have to stay on this stupid Dollar General brand nasal spray for the rest of my life. If you have any suggestions please let me know lol. TLDR I got addicted to using nasal spray for allergies and now I don't know how to wean myself off of it because I can't breathe without it. There are nasal sprays that are just basically salt water. Get those and use them instead. It will be hard for a while but it'll get better. You can also gradually wean of by using the real spray less and the salt water one more every day. Until you only use the salt water one. Ah quite a if you want support. My dad was addicted to nasal spray for a while. He had to stop cold turkey. And he breathed and still does breathe better as a result. He's been off the stuff 35 plus years. Yo you need Flonase. Yeah this is a real thing first off and I'm sorry because I hear it's awful. You need to make a plan with your doctor to see what other medications you can use while getting off this nasal spray. It's going to be miserable. It's going to take as much as two weeks until the congestion goes away. But you can't use it forever. So you need to figure it out but don't do it without your doctor's help. I was addicted for about five years. It was hell. But two things helped me. One. Wean one nostril off at a time. It still sucks but you don't feel 100 stopped up at all times. Pick one and don't touch it with the spray. After a while, it cleared up on its own and I only used it sparingly at night so I could sleep. Over about a month, I was clear. 2. Meditation The breath work during this helped to relax and open up my sinuses. This gave me hours of relief that I wouldn't need to be spraying. It was Afrin wasn't it? I ended up using the overpriced but effective and convenient Neilnd bottle and sachet nose irrigation system off and on for a year and a half needed it less and less over time. 2. The sachets are expensive. But they are pre-mixed with a buffering agent so do not sting at all. Honestly got me away from nasal sprays and it's just sterile salt and a flow of water. Basically. Talk to your doctor. I was having similar issues with allergies. My doc got me on Sudafed and Flonase and within a couple days it had reduced the inflammation. Enough that I didn't need to continue with either. Till that you could get addicted to nasal spray. I'm second. Third. Fourth etc. Two things. Flonase. If you're a Sam's Club member. You can get a member's mark package of six for not much more than one Flonase brand bottle. If no Sam's Club. Walmart has an Equate brand I think. The Neil Med Saline Flush. This is great. 
but follow instructions. Blowing your nose is part of the rinsing routine. Don't block up both nostrils when you blow your nose. You can mess up your eardrums. Get a neti pot and do a saline water rinse instead. I'm a huge consumer of Afrin and the one thing that seemed to help recently in this allergy season is Flonase generic OTC Costco brand. It pretty much replaced Afrin but you gotta remember to use it at least once a day. Cut the tree down. The best way I've found to tackle nasal spray addiction is an Amazon subscription where they mail it to your house at regular intervals. Get a prescription nasal spray from your doctor. Use it in only one nostril until the other one clears up and then you can stop using while the other one clears. Source done the same. Buy some Breathe Right strips and relax for a day. I did the same thing last year. Used the spray for almost two weeks. Now I only use it if I'm getting headaches. I would suggest hiring a landscaper to cut down the tree. If you can't afford that, find a friend with an axe. Thought the title was anal spray. Well that's better than heroin I suppose. Personally I would talk to a doctor, but posting on Reddit will probably get similar results. Baby saline spray instead. You can totally use Zyrotec while pregnant. Yes. Those nose sprays are very well known for being addictive. Stop doing the spray and deal with breathing through your mouth. Put loads of stuff on your lips. Like Vaseline. You can just get saline spray. I don't know if you're allowed to use Flonase while pregnant. Call your ob and tell them the truth. I have no idea what to do go to a doctor FFSD. Please talk to your OB to find the right solution for you. Call me rhinoplasty, cause I got a nose job for you. Stop fucking using it FFS. Do what it says it's not a lie. It will get worse before it gets better. Take this as a lesson to read instructions F never used before. You are a dumbass but feel like you need this to wake up. No hard feelings by the way lol but please learn from this. Also you don't get addicted to nasal spray. You are just stupid lol. Again no hard feelings but goddamn haha. Welcome to the club. I've been using oxymetazoline for about 5 years now. Can't breathe without. Deathly afraid of what's gonna happen in a few years. Same thing happened to me. Had to endure two days of hell going cold turkey. I'm not sure if there are better ways. I got addicted to that shit for two years. Once I finally put my mind to quitting it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. It took about a week for it to get back to normal. Get it but wean yourself off one nostril at a time. This works 100. Neti pot every day don't use tap water or pre-made saline flush flonase. When I was super pregnant I also had congestion. It's a common thing with pregnancy I guess. It went away shortly after birth though so it may not be allergies. Happened to me once. I discovered if I I know it sounds ridiculous ran in place as fast as I could or did jumping. Jack's nose would clear up for short while enough to stop. But never again. I'm not sure the physiological mechanism there. But body does something to nasal passages I guess when you physically exert yourself quickly more. Oxygen.